as long as the asset is out of your taxable estate at that value, any future growth is not part of your estate when you die. The estate freeze is a concept, again, that predates the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, but has been made that much more powerful because of it. What it boils down to is getting an asset out of your taxable estate at a certain value. And then as long as the asset is out of your taxable estate at that value, any future growth is not part of your estate when you die. Let's take the example of a property that I own that I purchased for $500,000. So it's sitting here, it's worth $500,000 in my estate today, but I know that it's sitting right next to the new location for the airport or fill in the blank. And I know that this property is going to appreciate tremendously in value while I'm alive. I can take that property and transfer it to someone or more likely to a trust for the benefit of one or more people at that $500,000 value. And if over my lifetime, it appreciates to $4 million, that three and a half million dollars is not part of my estate. Now, in the context of gifting, I only gifted $500,000 when I transferred that property to the trust. I used up probably some annual exclusion, $18,000 a year, depending on the number of beneficiaries of the trust. And then anything beyond that annual exclusion is going to be deducted from my lifetime exclusion. Or if my lifetime exclusion is zero, it might be taxable, but assuming it's not, or even if it is, I would much rather pay taxes on, say, $450,000 than taxes on $4 million.